Hello friends, today I'm going to try to knock out two songs in one short lesson, I hope. It won't be too long. Uh, tribute to the late, great Gordon Lightfoot, a uh, fantastic lyricist and songwriter. Uh, the two songs I'm going to go over today are Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I'm going to show you a very simple arrangement of that, and then I'm going to show you how to play If You Could Read My Mind, which is a little bit more complicated. Both of these songs are in standard tuning with a capo on the second fret, so I'm going to let you tune up to my guitar. Okay, let's start with uh, on the the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. A lake it is said never gives up her dead When the skies of November turn gloomy Alright, so the, the chords through the whole song pretty much I know this is actually a B sus2 But I'm going to call it an A sus2 in relation to the capo E minor G D and then back to A sus2. So those four chords make up the whole song pretty much. The only thing that's left is that little guitar riff that opens and then it's between a lot of the verses. And the chords for it are A and then G over A and then D over A and then to A sus2. And then back to the G. So the only thing that we have to do is just add that sort of guitar riff above it. Now that's not the riff exactly because the, the electric guitar is doing bends and things like that, but we're going to ignore those for this. So we're starting with the A chord. We add that on the E string. And then we're playing all the strings open except and with the uh, A as a bass string. So that's really a G over A. And then we play the E string open. And then we play that note on the on the E string coming up to the D sus4. Finishing it like that. And then come back to that note. And then back to a D chord and then end with those notes. And you can put as much detail in there as you want to. You can just kind of strum and imply the notes or you can actually try to strike the notes uh, individually. Legend lives on from the Chippewa on down. Alright, so that's Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald.
All right, let's move on to If You Could Read My Mind. Same capo, second fret. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky and I'm gonna show you the finger picking pattern that Gordon used with this. We're just gonna play the G chord by fretting the low E string here and then we're gonna play the uh, B string, G string, and D string open. We're gonna start with our thumb on the low string. We're gonna play middle, the B string middle finger, index on the G string, thumb on the D string. We're gonna repeat that. And then we're gonna finish with our index on the open G string. So from start, So that's the pattern, and to get used to this, what I would do is just do that G chord and then start on a C chord, which now, of course, the, the root note is going to be on the A string. Go back to the G. add a D chord. Now the root is the open D string. So just repeat that until you get comfortable, comfortable with it and speed it up a little bit. To actually start playing the song, what we're going to do is we're going to start on that G, but on the very last note of the pattern, we're going to fret the G string. Instead of playing it open, we're going to fret it here, second fret above the capo. So we start the pattern, and that G is the last note of the pattern, but instead of, once again, playing it open, we're going to fret it here. And then on the last note of the next pattern, we're just going to take it off and play it open again. So it's on, off, on, off. So that's the pattern. A uh, little bit tricky to sing it um, and play it at the same time. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well. All right, so. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky to get that pattern and get that note, uh, get that note fretted there. But the, the second chord of this is, it's like an F chord. He, he frets the bass string with his thumb here. And then it's playing the D string here, the G string here, and the B string is opened. So it's actually like a D minor six, or I guess you could call it F with a flatted fifth, uh, either one, but... Uh, and, the, and this, on this pattern, we don't change anything. We don't move anything around. So we just repeat the pattern twice. And go back to the G. In a castle strong. 
you know, castle dark or fortress strong. When it gets to there, we're going to go back to the G. And we're going to make it a G7 by playing the D string here. So we start with an open uh, G just like we've been playing it. And then fret the D string there. And then to a C. With chains of D upon my feet. E minor. You know that ghost. And then we're going to a C. Ghost is me back to G. And I will never see. And then we're going to walk down a G with a third in the bass. A minor seven. D and back to G. I will never be set free as long as I am a ghost that you can't see. So that's If You Could Read My Mind, two wonderful songs by the late, great Gordon Lightfoot. All right, till next time, everybody stay safe and be well out there. Talk to you. Bye.